I can get your attention. I hope you'll just continue to eat, finish your dinner, and finish your dessert. But we're going to get started so uh, we don't keep you here till midnight. Um, because we do have some great entertainment following our presentations. We've got some presentations to make. Uh, so the first thing I'd like to do is uh, recognize a few special people that are with us. We always like to recognize any of our past chairmen, past presidents that are here uh, with us tonight. And I'd like to recognize there more, most of them are here towards the front. I'll ask them to stand as, uh, as they're called out. The first past president, Tommy Cook from Myrtle Beach. He's actually right there. John Jensen, Spartanburg. Jules Anderson, Charleston. John Brady from Dillon. Kathy McKay from Mount Pleasant. That's our past presidents that are here. Um, we also have a few, now we did have our national chairman elect, he's going to be with us in the morning, he couldn't eat dinner with us tonight, uh, Bobby Bramlett, but he should be with us in the morning. Um, we have a, other, a couple of other uh, Big Eye members that I'd like to recognize, Big Eye member agent, but also now state senator, Ross Turner from Greenville, South Carolina, he's down here in the front. And we also have a retired Big Eye member. He's not totally retired from the agency, but he is a retired House of Representatives member. Uh, Bob Walker from Spartanburg, or Landrum, excuse me, I said Spartanburg. And I'd also like to recognize uh, a longtime friend of mine and our longtime legal counsel for the association. Yeah, we get legal advice at our office also. And that's Reese Williams is here with his wife, Nancy. Thank you, Reese. So now as we start the presentation, I'm going to ask Chairman of the Board, Ashley Brady, to come on stage and help with the presentations tonight. And uh, the first order of business will be a privilege of the Chairman. He has the privilege of recognizing individuals that have been particularly supportive in the uh, way of Chairman citations, and I think he's got a couple he wants to introduce. Thank you. Thank you, Frank. As he said, one of the privileges of, of being the chairman is I do get to recognize some individuals that have been very helpful to our association. Our first chairman citation is for an individual who has taken a leadership role in our Young Agents Committee. By supporting and helping and promoting the activities of the Young Agents Committee, which is very near and dear to me. And while the Young Agents have been somewhat a priority for him, he continues to be active and support all of the big eye programs. Excuse me. Our first chairman's citation this year goes to Mr. Robert Sanders from Preferred Specialty. Robert, thank you for everything that you do for our association, and, and I know you'll continue to help our association. Um, next chairman's citation is for an individual who has generously supported and supported our association. He's been extremely supportive of myself throughout my career as I moved along through the leadership roles of the association. My second chairman citation goes to Gary Cornell of AFCO Pomeroy. That's what it's about. 
Is that something else? Now I'd like to uh, invite Robert Sanders back to the stage. He's going to help us present uh, the AAMGA Outstanding Committee Chairman of the Year. Um, and as uh, Robert comes onto the stage, come on up, Robert. He's been very helpful. The AAMGA has sponsored this award for years, and Robert's a member of the, actually an officer now in the AAMGA, young, under 40, so congratulations on that. And we're gonna let you make the presentation. Thank you, Frank. Um, the American Association of Managing, Managing General Agents is proud to recognize a Big Eye member for their outstanding contributions to the association. The AAMGA was founded in 1926 and represents over 500 corporate members and is respected as a leader and voice in the wholesale excess and surplus lines marketplace. It is more than likely that you've done business with an AAMGA member in this room. We actively support the big I for the independent agent is our only production source. This year, for the first time, we are recognizing two individuals that have established themselves as leaders in the association. The envelopes? Okay. Is this the correct order? We're doing this, uh, tell us we're doing this uh, Academy Awards. Though. It's kind of like the Academy Awards. So we, uh, we open an envelope, it's secret ballot. Um, it's done by an uh, independent auditing company. Um, Price Waterhouse. Uh, it's very. That's right. That's right. Correct. Um, so, Mr. Chairman, the envelope, please. Are you open? Or am I open? I'm, I'm open. Okay. Okay. I'm open. Okay. Wow. I didn't see this coming, guys. <laughs> and the 2013 AAMGA award goes to the. You ready? The committee chairman of the year is William Bowers and James G. Taylor. Come on down. And I have the, uh, the privilege to be able to serve on their committee as well, and that's an outstanding job for Jay, Jay Taylor of Kinghorn and Will Bowers of Russell Massey. Thank you. So now we're going to move on to our three higher honors. The uh, Industry Person of the Year will be our first award. This award is given to an individual who makes an outstanding contribution to the advancement of the insurance industry and agency system, but is not a Big I member agent. This year we recognize an individual who's been a valuable ally to independent insurance agents throughout his career. And I'm going to let the chairman of the board get our envelope and make the presentation. Thank you, Frank. This year, our industry person of the year is Jack Horsey, Main Street America. So Jack's been one of the most loyal, and I'll say stable, <laughs> company representatives that I've ever been affiliated during my time at the Big Eye. Um, Jack's a native of Kansas. He graduated from Wichita State University. He actually served in the Marine Corps. He began his insurance career in Kansas with Federated Mutual. And after two and a half years in the audit, moved into sales, he eventually moved to South Carolina from Kansas, and he actually went to work for an independent agent. I actually looked this up, they were a Big Eye member too, Newberger and Company up in Spartanburg. He then went to work for Cigna, 
in the Columbia office, and then he finally, in 1984, started with Main Street America National Grange Mutual, and has worked there, and continues to work there. Uh, through trusted relationships, he has provided his agents with service and support, making it possible for them to achieve profitable growth with Main Street America. During his career, he's made lasting friendships throughout the South Carolina insurance community. In 1996, he was inducted into the Main Street America's Circle of Excellence. Circle members are nominated by their fellow employees and selected by senior management for their embodiment of the company's core value of ownership, relationships, and service. He earned a CIC designation in 1989. The delights of his life, though, are his two children, four grandsons, and one granddaughter. His daughter, Tara, is a genetics counselor at the Bowman Gray School of Medicine in Winston-Salem. And his son, John, serves in the U.S. Coast Guard, currently in Elizabeth City, North Carolina. Away from work, and all of us know this, Jack likes to play tennis. And he's captained several of his U.S. Tennis Association League teams and taken a few to state championships and beyond. He loves the Gamecocks and the Braves. Sorry. <laughs> we do. And he and his fiance Mary love to travel and spend time with his family. Jack, thank you for everything you have done to support our industry and our state. Congratulations. I just want to say thank you, and I appreciate this very much. It's, it's a nice honor. Thanks. <laughs> So now I'd like to invite Gary Cornell back up for an official duty as uh, AFCO Prime Rate helps sponsor the Young Agent and the Agent of the Year Awards, and that's what we're going to do next. Gary, thanks. Good to see you again. I think we surprised Gary just a minute ago. He's a little quiet. Uh, we appreciate the sponsorship that AFCO and Prime Rate do for the Young Agent and Agent of the Year. So the Young Agent of the Year. That award recognizes a young agent who has rendered outstanding service to their community outside the field of insurance and has also contributed to, to the betterment of the insurance industry. And so I'm going to give the envelope to the chairman for our Young Agent of the Year. Ladies and gentlemen, the Young Agent of the Year, drum roll. It's Angus M. Babram the Fourth CIC. <laughs> Gus. Gus, I thought you had to be young. <laughs> <laughs> He's just in under the wire. Hey, Gus is our second year in a row that we've had a Wofford grad win the uh, Young Agent of the Year. So congratulations on the Wofford. And while we still think of him as being part of Frank B. Norris, they actually became Regions Insurance in Columbia earlier this year. He's been a great leader among the young agents in our association, serving on the Young Agents Committee, and it's on the state, currently on the State Board of Directors. He's also taking on charging, uh, taking on chairing our InsurePAC committee. I guess we've all seen a lot about InsurePAC this week and uh, the last few weeks. Um, anyway, if he hasn't emailed you about InsurePAC, don't worry, it's coming. And did you see the video? That was his idea, okay? Then I say more. He's a, he's a great community leader. He supports and works with the National Alliance on Mental Illness and has gotten involved with Make-A-Wish South Carolina in conjunction with our Trusted Choice Partnership. He's active with Trinity Episcopal Cathedral where he has been part of the Foundation Committee, the Dean's Search Committee, and Sunday School Teacher. Gus has also coached basketball, soccer, and sporting clays. It, you saw him using the gun in the video, which means he should know how to use it. So, Gus, this award recognizes your dedicated service to our industry and to your community. Congratulations. Gus, on behalf of um, AFCO Prime Rate, we would like to present you with this um, 
make sure I got the right one. $500 cash. Gosh. So now we go to the Agent of the Year. The Agent of the Year Award is named for Hayne P. Glover, Jr. to honor his many years of dedicated service to the state and national associations. Hayne Glover was from Greenville and is the only South Carolinian to serve as the National Association President. He actually served two terms as state president in South Carolina as well. The Agent of the Year Award recognizes an independent agent that has rendered outstanding community service and also contributed to the betterment of the insurance industry. And so our final award, and I'll give the envelope to the chairman. Thank you, Frank. In the 2013 IABSC Agent of the Year is Ross Turner III. First off, what a thrill to have so many members of the Turner Agency here with us tonight also. Two tables down here in the front, so we're real proud to have them. Ross is president of the Turner Agency. He's a second generation principal and his dad here is here tonight. His dad and mom are here tonight. Started the agency. <clears throat> they started the agency in 1962. And uh, Ross has the privilege of working with his wife, Julie, also in the agency. We saw her talent last night in the Dancing with the Stars. Thank you, Julie, very much. So, Ross is a past member of the Big Eye Board of Directors. He served on the Young Agents Committee, the Membership Committee. Uh, but his biggest influence when he was on our board was working with Trusted Choice. And if there's an agency in South Carolina that has embraced Trusted Choice, it's the Turner Agency. I will, I will give you kudos to that. In fact, Julie was featured in a national Trusted Choice commercial a few years ago. So, not only did Ross and his agency embrace Trusted Choice, they became the poster child for what Trusted Choice agents are all about. Um, Ross was recognized back in 2008 with the AAMGA Achievement Award for Trusted Choice Committee work at that time. He's earned his CIC professional designation. He's been an instructor for some of the continuing education classes offered by the Big Eye. And back home in Greenville, he's been active in the Greenville Rotary, leader, leadership Greenville alumni. He's a member of Bunkett Street United Methodist Church. I hope that's still right. I think it is, okay. I put this part in. He was a star athlete at J.L. Mann High School. He did, he did not write that. I, I, bet you, I bet you didn't know he played briefly football at Clemson University. That's right. But you all know he's a really roaring, exciting Clemson Tiger. He loves the Tigers, and uh, that's good. Yeah. So, of course, one of the biggest accomplishments, accomplishments in his life came last year when he got elected to the South Carolina State Senate. Ross survived a very crowded field. There were four challengers plus the incumbent. And I'm going to tell you, it was a political upset and it was a huge upset for him. And he did a great job. Um, he's very proud. I will tell you personally, I'm very proud and honored to tell my association and industry colleagues that Senator Ross Turner is a member of our association. It's a great thing to have. Ross, congratulations. Congratulations on being named the uh, Hain P. Glover Agent of the Year, a Greenville agent with the namesake. That's a good connection. And thank you for your service and leadership to our industry, our association, and the state of South Carolina. Ross, on behalf of AFCO Prime Rate, we would like to honor you with this $1,500 gift certificate. All right, y'all know I don't like to talk, but now that I'm a politician, I'll talk for a second. <laughs> the, uh, we've got, to be honest, I've got three things I want to talk about. I'm a good preacher like that. Um, first, thank my mom and dad. They're here tonight. He started this in 1962. <laughs> I, 
I applaud any of you in this audience that started something on your own because I would have never had the guts to do it. Um, so I, I'm just thankful for the opportunity to come back. The second thing, these employees, I've got two tables here. The one thing I learned early on was maybe not hire insurance experience, but hire people that are smart and nice. And I can teach them insurance, I can't teach them to be nice. So I thank you, thank you very much. I spoke, I'm kind of double duty this week because thank goodness the PCA? The PCI. Uh, uh, skins. Uh, skins. News service. Anyway, the news service paid for my room last night. So I spoke this morning at a news insurance news conference this morning and the thing I told them that was great about politics and the one thing about this industry is that you, you both of them are built on personal relationships. So there's no doubt that we all understand the importance of that. The second thing is you don't burn bridges. The underwriter may tell us something we don't want to hear today, but I'm going to need him tomorrow. So we've got to figure out where the middle ground is and we'll all get there. The one thing is we've all got problems, but I'd rather be in South Carolina trying to solve them than anywhere else. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations, Ross. Well deserved, and Gus, and, and Jack, and Gary, and Robert. Y'all have done a wonderful job of serving this association. Is this not a great venue? Have y'all had a good time? The, the weather was great today for the golf. It was a little bit raining at the beginning. Um, you know, it's kind of surprising when they call me for closest to the pin. <laughs> I'm the worst golfer out there, y'all. <laughs> I sent them a score. They said, you sure your handicap's 30? I said, can it get any worse than that? That would be me. But, you know, closest to the pin, it was, you know, that was kind of neat. Um, it's kind of amazing. I can remember back, it was like October of 2001. Oh. Excuse me. <laughs> Um, we were going to Savannah. I was going to be sworn in as a, on the board for the first time. So October 2001, what happened in September? 9-11. Has this industry in this country changed a lot since 9-11? Tremendous amount. I've been fortunate to work with this board and these associations and these agencies in South Carolina. And it's been a great privilege. In working with this board, I was able to, when I first started out, um, I worked with the young agents, and that's near and dear to me. Um, with the support of our state, I served on the National Young Agents Committee. I got to know other young agents across the country. I got to know the tenured agents across the country as well. Um, and in serving as your chairman, I see those same individuals all the time when we go to national meetings. I see the execs from the other states. And I can tell you right now, South Carolina has the best association in the country. I, I, it's, I'm sorry. <laughs> but we do. Frank and our staff, John, y'all don't know this, but some of you might know this, John Jensen's going to be our next uh, executive committee member. I'm not trying to jinx you, but you will be. Uh, in April in D.C., uh, there'll be the election for the executive committee for our national board, and John Jensen will be on our next executive committee for our national association, which means in five years he will be our national president. I, I hope I'm not jinxed you, but it, we, you will be. <laughs> But the young agents, like I said, is near and dear to me. Um, I, I ask you to look around the room. We see uh, a lot of young agents that are in attendance here, but we also see a lot of tenured agents as well. I encourage you, please, go back to your offices and encourage your young agents in your office that, that you know that can probably step to that next level to bring them to these events. Encourage them to go to our young agents' conferences. 
get them involved because they're, they're the future of your agency and our association on the state and the national level. Also, we're talking about tonight, you know, we've heard a lot about InsurePAC. What is InsurePAC? InsurePAC is our political action committee in Washington, D.C. I've had the privilege to, to get to know those guys a lot. Um, we do a lot of stuff that you don't know about behind the tables, the scenes. Um, we get to go to meetings. Uh, John Jensen has uh, testified before Congress, I know at least probably twice this year, before Congress testifying before subcommittees on our behalf for our industry. InsurePAC's the one that gets us to the table. So when we ask you to make these contributions to InsurePAC, it's for a very, very important cause. Um, our goal for, our, for this convention was $5,000, as you heard Bo and Gus talking about. So you see a couple of Badapa guys walking around here wearing their bow ties and that. Well, I got an email from Ken Finch. He says, you know guys, our goal is 5,000. But if we make 10, we all got to wear bow ties. That's why I'm wearing a bow tie. It's the first time I ever wore a bow tie in my life. <laughs> but it's a good reason to be wearing one because we raised $14,000 for InsurePAC at this event. This is a very good reason to wear a bow tie. Also, we talked about trusted choice a lot and CAP. Um, it's been talking about for years and years. Well, it's here because of, as of Friday at 5 o'clock, the consumer agent portal rating mechanism for live auto quotes is active and rolling in South Carolina. And we have a lot more work we can do with that program. So I encourage you to go back to your agencies. Everybody has a basic profile on CAP. I encourage you, go back, sign up for the enhanced profile. It's going to give you more information about you, the companies you represent, your hours, what you specialize in. It takes about 15 minutes. So please go back, sign up for it on your uh, CAP website. It's trustedchoice.com. They have a lot of marketing material. We, you know, everybody's hearing about social media and the digital footprint. What do you have to do? They have all kinds of stuff. We don't have time to, de to develop that. But they'll let us steal it from them and put it on our websites, our Facebook pages, our Twitter accounts. So use it. It's there. It's your association. Why not go ahead and use it? I'm probably taking up too much time, and I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, I need, to, I need to thank my mother. She's the one that got me in this business. Uh, she started it in 1954. Um, that's a long time ago. <laughs> she went to labor with me in the office, so I guess I was kind of born into it. Yeah. <laughs> You've heard the saying SOBs, well, I'm the son of the boss as well. <laughs> so uh, thank, thank her for, for getting me in this great industry. And I have to thank my wife, Becky. Uh, sorry. A lot of these meetings, I'm gone. We've got small kids. Thank you. Thank you, Ashley. That's great. And uh, I think this crowd just showed you what, what you mean to them, too, as well. So. so now it's time to recognize our retiring directors that are coming off the board this year, uh, completing their terms. Um, and we have one officer that's moving up, so we're going to recognize him also. I'd like at this time to invite Gus Brabham, Richard Walker, and Scott Mosley on stage. Kim Gore is also uh, retiring this year, finishing her term. She couldn't be with us this week, but we want to remember Kim also. Scott's retiring as the secretary, but he's going to move up the ladder, as you're going to see in just a minute. Uh, and Gus is actually going to do something unique. He's been um, selected to serve another term on the board, so he's kind of retiring tonight. So, But each of you, the big eye, appreciate your leadership and service on the board. You brought different perspectives and insight to the association. We know we can count on your continued support and participation as we go forward. Thank you all.
So now it's uh, my honor to recognize John Jensen to come up, who's going to be our installation officer for the new board coming forward. Thank you. Thank you, Frank. I'm going to lower the mic again. It's amazing how the stage shrunk, right, when you got that. And you know, usually I know what's going on in the association, but I've been hoodooed. It really upsets me. The bow tie bit, Ken told me that was so he didn't spill any food on his tie. He said, you know how hard it is to spill food on a bow tie? So, anyway. <clears throat> Each year the membership of our association is charged with the responsibility of choosing leaders for the coming year. The choice is based on qualities of leadership and responsibility so that the association's goals and objectives can be actively pursued and ultimately achieved. Those leaders chosen must be willing to commit themselves during their term to representing both the public interest and the welfare of this membership. At the same time, the membership must be willing to support and cooperate with the leadership in order for the association to gain its objectives. You have chosen your leaders well for the coming year, and I am confident that they are honored to have been selected. I am equally confident that they will work hard and diligently on your behalf. The following are the officers and the directors to be installed this evening, and I ask that you please come forward as your names are called. Chairman of the Board, Mr. Kenneth A. Finch, CPCU, CIC, CRM, AAI, County Bank Insurance, Greenwood, South Carolina. <laughs> Chairman elect and treasurer, Mr. R. Scott Mosley, Irmo Insurance, Irmo. <laughs> Your secretary, Mr. Thomas M. Bates, Jr., Erlong Bates Insurance, Greenville. And your directors, Mr. Agnes M. Bremen, the fourth CIC, Regions Insurance, Columbia. <laughs> Mr. James B. Galloway, People's First Insurance, Rock Hill. <laughs> and Mr. James G. Taylor, Jr., CIC, Kinghorn Insurance of Buford, Buford. Gentlemen, it is my privilege, my honor, and my pleasure to serve as your installing officer. Would you please raise your right hands? Do you solemnly swear that you will administer the office to which you have been elected to the best of your ability and judgment, in conformity with the bylaws and constitution of the independent insurance agents and brokers of South Carolina? That you will, in all of your acts, be governed by the principles of honesty, justice and fair play, and in every manner possible endeavor to promote and safeguard the best interests of our association and the welfare of our membership. If you so subscribe, please say, I do. Lower your hands. By the virtue of the authority conferred upon me, I do hereby proclaim each of you duly installed to the office which you have been elected. Congratulations, gentlemen. I know you'll serve well. Thank you, Ashley. As, um, as my first official duty as chairman, I'd like to recognize you for everything you've done for the association over the past two years. Your leadership has been outstanding 
We really appreciate everything you've done for us. And we first, we'd like to give, give you this plaque. Got an envelope. Now, in addition, the Yeti cooler was actually Ashley's idea, uh, and he, but he didn't win it. <laughs> sort of by design. Uh, Ashley, we know how much it meant to you to have a Yeti cooler, so we've got a little token of our appreciation for your service for the past two years. Hopefully, there's enough there for you to pick up a Yeti cooler or something else that you may want for later on. Thank you very much. <laughs> You know, I did win closest to the pin today, but I, you know, I did not win the golf tournament because Ken was my golf partner. <laughs> okay. I'll tell on you now. We had the past president's chairman's reception at about 6 p.m. tonight. At about 5.45, Ashley comes to my room and says, can you tie my bow tie? <laughs> and there's some bright lights. <laughs> well, good evening. I'd like to start off tonight and give a few thanks to some people that's made it possible for me to be here tonight. First, I'd like to thank you, the members of the Big Eye Association. Uh, for the confidence you've placed in me for the upcoming year, it's truly a privilege and honor to serve as your chairman in 2014. Next, I would like to thank the staff of the Big Eye for over the past eight years serving on the executive board. Uh, you've meant so much to me and also the rest of the board members and everything you do to support us throughout the year. Your, your work and everything you do is greatly appreciated. Next, I'd like, support, like to acknowledge and give a thanks to the associates of County Bank Insurance. Some of who were sitting here tonight with me came up, drove up to support me. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, over the past years, they've kept everything running in the office pretty smooth when I'm out. Uh, I, and I also understand they're grateful to, to find out that I'm going to be out of the office even more in the next year. <laughs> um, so what the boss don't know, don't hurt him, they say. A big surprise I got this afternoon um, was uh, my wife, and thanks to Laura Cornell, uh, arranged for my son to travel from college. He drove in four hours this afternoon to be here tonight. And uh, his support over the last 21 years um, and everything he's done for me, he's helped me live really in my childhood, and I really appreciate that. Thank you, Carter. And although she's the last person I'll mention as far as a thanks, but she's the most important person in my life. She's always there for an encouraging word. She has always supported me. My college sweetheart, my wife of 33 years. Thank you, Dorothy. <laughs> Those that really know me would tell you that everything I do, I approach with an unbridled passion and a really hard drive. And it's always been my desire to leave anything a lot better off than I found it. And I approached my insurance career this way too, since entering the insurance industry in 1980. I've always felt that in order to be very successful at anything, you've got to have a passion. And a lot of times an incoming chairman or a president of association will have a slogan. Well, I don't really have a slogan, but I would, I would encourage you to find your passion for this business and also for the association. As I've had the opportunity to travel on behalf of the association to represent them at conventions and meetings, I will tell you without a doubt, we do have the best association in the United States of America. <laughs> this is in large part to the staff of the Big Eye, people like Frank Shepard, Becky McCormick, Beth Chasty. Laura Cornell, Anita Trevino, Mary Ellis, Jessica Martin, and also uh, Martha Levine. And I hope I didn't leave anybody out. Megan Huber, I'm very sorry. <laughs> In addition, it's also, uh, it says a lot for the members of the Big Eye. For those of you that step up 
and serve on committees that's helped us win, win awards, such as one of the top educational uh, programs in the country, to win the Insure Pack Eagle Award for eight years in a row, and now we've just learned we've won it for two, year 2013, which means nine consecutive years, and we now own the longest winning streak in the National Association. Thank you very much. <laughs> Upon coming to South Carolina, and I'm not a South Carolinian native, I grew up in North Carolina and I have been here about 12 years, 12 or 13 years. It was my desire though to be become, uh, become involved in, in, this, in this association. I firmly believe we all have something to contribute. And it may be from serving on the association board, the convention task committee, uh, the insure pack committee, the tech committee, assisting with the Big Eye Junior Golf Classic, but rest assured whatever it is, if you will get involved and serve on one of these committees, you will find Excuse me. You'll not only have a greater appreciation for our association, but a greater appreciation for our industry and help it grow and, and help help the growth of it and its strengths. Going forward in 2014, we're going to anticipate a very exciting year in the big eye. Project CAP is well underway, and if you've not already signed up, I would encourage you please to do so. Please contact somebody on the local or the national association as they can help you do this. For it is my true is my belief that Project CAP will transcend the way we do business today and it will help grow your agency in the future. In addition, InsurePAC continues to help us with strategic legislation, things such as the National Flood Insurance Program, the Affordable Care Act, NARAB II. These are just a few of the examples of the legislation they've helped us with in the past and continue to go forward with. In addition to that, tech something, things like the Tech Committee, Tech Committee continues to provide us with new ways to do business, and they brought us everything as far as updates to how to work with social media as well as enhanced operating systems. We've recently met to set our strategic plan for the coming year, and the overwhelming theme that came out of this was finding new deliverables to the members of the Big Eye, and you'll hear more about this as we go forward in the next year. You can tell I do have a passion for this industry and a passion for this association, but we need your help. I would encourage you to step up to the plate and help us with this. I would ask that you treat your, your employees as associates, your agency as an entity with a purpose, and your association as an ally to help grow your agencies. If we go at it with this kind of attitude, there's probably nothing we can't accomplish, and we'll make it one of the greatest associations in the country, and it'll also be one that you'll be proud of and for others to envy. Again. I want to thank you for your comments you placed to me tonight. I hope I won't let you down coming for the ne next year. And please feel free to contact me going forward in the next 12 months if I can be of any assistance to you. Remember, develop a passion. Thank you and I hope you have a great night. And Wayne, I'm gonna. I, I need to make two other recognitions, uh, a little out of order, and I'm gonna. It's gonna be a little awkward for you because we're gonna have to. Before we start the introduction of the entertainment, we're gonna take a 15-second pause. So I'll tell you about that in just a second. But uh, I want to recognize Jackson Sumner and Associates. Uh, they are filming tonight. They were broadcasting earlier today. They're doing this. They're doing all of our AV for us. So I want to make sure I recognize Jackson Sumner and their team. And also a little bit out of order, but not forgotten is one recognition of one last retiring board member this year. Uh, this happens so infrequently that we kind of, uh, we don't always script it in the right point. But I want to recognize Kathy McKay. She will retire this year after having been on our executive committee for eight years. And uh, that's a long time for any of our officers, and they all go through that chain. But Kathy retires. Kathy, we don't have a plaque. We don't have a gift. We have done that for you as you move through the process. But you've been our immediate past chair this year. And I just want to recognize Kathy McKay and give her a round of applause also.
Okay, so final announcement. Remember tomorrow morning at breakfast, we'll be back in this room tomorrow morning. So come to this side of the hotel and um, we'll hear from Appalachian State. We'll hear about CAP. We'll hear from the national chairman of the board.